Hey everybody, it's me, Dale, back with more Friday Funnies, and this is the first Friday in August. You know what that means, August, back to school time. This is when you have to go out and spend any money you had left over from your family vacation on school supplies for the kids. And I don't even know what kids are required to have nowadays. But, you know, when I went to school in uh, the ye old one-room schoolhouse, we were required in the early grades to have laddie pencils, which were enormous, about the size of logging timbers, a trapezoidal-shaped pink eraser, and an oil cloth. Later, we needed number two pencils and three ring notebooks, but that was about it. But today's back to school list probably includes designer backpacks, iPads, and condoms. It's no wonder Johnny can't read. Now, if you're preparing instead for your annual family vacation, allow me to point out a few sites that you are not going to want to miss. In the middle, right now in the middle of Rockefeller Center in New York City, an artist and his builders are constructing a 16-foot tall sand castle. It requires 16 tons of sand, and when it's finished, it will rent for only $2,000 a month. So that's pretty good. In Madison, Wisconsin, uh, a record was sent for the world's, or set rather, for the world's largest cheese board. It's 35 feet long and contains 4,437 pounds of cheese. Get there early before it's all gone. And in Darwin, Minnesota, you can see the world's largest ball of twine. And then slap yourself for driving out of the way. Have a good vacation, but before you go, take a look at this week's Friday Funnies. Essex, England is the location of the South End Pier, which is the longest pleasure pier in the world. It juts out 1.3 miles into the ocean. That's like 2.1 kilometers if you're in Essex. And it's very popular with the uh, tourists and with the locals. Now, Thomas Watson was visiting on the pier when he noticed that part of it was smoking and small flames appeared. Now, I don't know if this is the same pier. and that, That's definitely not the same fire. But since he was there with his girlfriend and his daughter and they were the only ones left on the pier, he decided to go into action. While his girlfriend called the fire department, Thomas decided that uh, that a good dousing of we would, <laughs> would put out the fire. So he undid his pants and started peeing on the fire, hosing it down. Eventually, he got down on his knees to improve his aim, and he was able to extinguish the fire. He was also lauded by the pier authorities for doing so. And when I read this, I was just so glad that my dad taught me the importance of urinary accuracy years ago when I was just a small boy. And he taught it to me in the middle of winter, standing out in the snow, writing my name in cursive. Jerry Springer recently retired from his alleged TV show, which is too bad because these two couples would have been gold, Jerry, gold. Nick and Zach Lewin are twin brothers. Cassie and Chrissy Beaver are twin sisters. This weekend, Zach is marrying Chrissy on Friday and Nick is marrying Cassie on Saturday. I guess they did it that way to save money on tuxedo rentals. Anyhow, good luck to them, but I envision a lot of problems with this relationship, including things like, oops, wrong house, and you know your sister does it different. Anyhow, I'm sure that this is just a reality show waiting to happen. It's going to have a name something like Mix and Match. Next week on Mix and Match, it's the old switcheroo. If you're in charge of running a prison and you give your, uh, your inmates access to computers, you gotta know you're asking for trouble. And the Idaho Department of Corrections found that trouble. While using computers provided for all of the inmates, a group of them figured out how to hack into the prison system. And they were able to get into their JPAL accounts, which is kind of like PayPal for those who are incarcerated. And they got in there and they added $225,000 to their prison accounts. So let this serve as a lesson to you future felons out there. Study up on your computer hacking and refine your skills. It may come in very handy when you're on the inside. 
Hey, that's it for another week, my friends. I hope you had fun. Please pass these funnies along to others. Please leave us a like at the end of this, and uh, we'll be happy to be back here with you for with more news next Friday. <laughs>